We're continuing to celebrate Black History Month all throughout the month of February, and today we're highlighting a living legend who's teaching an Afro-hip-hop dance class for all to enjoy and learn. Melissa Muganzo Murphy is the CEO of Muganzo Entertainment and joins us now with all the details on her upcoming dance class, along with how she continues to creatively make impact in the community. Welcome, Melissa. We're happy to have you on today. I'm so excited to be here. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. So Melissa, please tell us about your Afro hip hop dance class and it's in celebration of Black History Month. Can you tell us how that all ties in together? Yeah, absolutely. So dance is life and it's a form of communication and hip hop is popular culture. So to be able to bring in African ancestry, hip hop culture in a way that people love to communicate and find community and groove and have a good time and sometimes get a good workout in <laughs> is the best way to be able to celebrate Black History Month. So I'll, that class is actually free and open to anyone that would like to go and it'll be happening at Sacramento State, right in the heart of Sacramento. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And I like the way that we're able to highlight Black History Month in a creative and active way. And you said this is open to anybody. So I mean, even people with beginning dance Level, levels. Are they welcome to join in as well? Oh, yeah. As long as you got a little groove in your body, we are all systems go. It's for all ages, for families, for people that are dance trained, or for people that just want to have a good time. It's open and it's free of charge. Oh, wow. And free of charge. That's great. And you also own a production company. How is yours different from most? So it was really important to me to blend my training in diversity, equity, and inclusion and advocacy and entertainment. I've been an entertainer since I was a child, acting, singing, dancing, choreographing. And so for myself as a fibroid survivor, I knew that to bring awareness about reproductive justice in a way that can reach the masses was to blend that in entertainment. And so my production company is the first of its kind in Sacramento to be run by a proud black queer woman. Yes, that is amazing. And you actually have an upcoming documentary project on restorative reproductive justice for black birthing folks. Could you tell us about it? Absolutely. I mean, things that are running rampant in the black community include fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, adamiosis, miscarriages, hysterectomies, ovarian cysts, cancer. These are big subjects, but they're also subjects that people find a lot of shame or guilt around. And so bringing this documentary to the forefront, one, during Fibroid Awareness Month in July, and to be able to celebrate it here and now and announce the trailer during Black History Month yeah. is a form of justice and Black History Month celebration. So I'm super excited about it. I'm proud of it. And I hope that it helps to heal families. Yeah, I was going to say, what is your overall goal? What do you hope people take away from this documentary after being able to watch it? that there's always a way to find joy. There's always a way to create a family for yourself. And I hope that our medical clinicians and our future faculty members and our future clinicians get to learn about awareness that is happening in our black and brown communities that can sometimes make or break somebody's life. And so this is really important information and it's good work. And the cast, they're dope. So you're <laughs> gonna love it, very dope. Well, we're excited to watch it. And I mean, you're doing so much in the community from your Afro hip hop dance class to this documentary, what other projects projects are on the horizon for you and your entertainment group. Yes, I'm super excited. So you'll be seeing me in a couple of shows. I'll be acting in those shows very soon. And I can't wait to come back on here and tell you all about them, along with being able to join us at the premiere and do some more work around advocacy about liberating black and trans lives and history. So yeah. Yeah, that is exciting. And I want to ask you, why is it important that we celebrate black culture, black history, not only for the month of Black History Month in February, but something that we continue, other races and diversity and ethnicities continue to learn and grow and just really understand our community throughout the year and not just for one month. Absolutely. Black history is American history. Uh, black identified folks from our black immigrants, our black indigenous folks helped to make America what it is today. And due to historical practices of erasure and racism and sexism have been left out of those narratives. So there are so many people that have been extremely, um, um, extremely uh, popular and smart and game changing and influential that have done tremendous work that we're probably using their products yeah. or benefiting from the things that they've created and people don't know about it. And so that's why Black history is important because there are geniuses out there that deserve that recognition, but we're also celebrating the beauty that is Blackness, that is universally impactful. So for more information, they can follow you on Instagram at Muganzo Entertainment.